A dying relationship has to be one of the worst things to be in. It's like going on an amazing cruise only to find out the ship is sinking. And if you sit around doing nothing, you're definitely going to drown. Or worse, your significant other might just jump on a lifeboat without you. And you know a pretty face waits for no one. So let's discuss some steps that you can take to rectify this situation. And the first thing you're going to have to do is to have a major overhaul of your life. Because nothing can change if you're not willing to change. And don't nobody want to be with someone stubborn. You'll become a distant memory if you don't play the game right. So just know that you have to change everything. And the good place to start is to make a calendar full of things for you to do with them during the month. Because this will make sure that you never have a boring month. Plus, you'll be able to buy yourself some new outfits that'll make you feel good. And you'll be able to see their beautiful self dressed up. The calendar should be a mix of dinners and events. Because this maximizes your chance of having a unique experience. Even if the dinner turns out bad because the restaurant sucks, you and your significant other will have something funny to talk about. And it will be a new memory that the both of you share. So whenever you're with friends, it'll be a moment that the both of you can explain very well. Plus, all the pictures you post on social media will show that you both are happy. And sometimes that's enough to stop somebody from sliding in their DMs. But let's be real, nothing stops real savages. But at least you have a fighting chance against the others. Also, try to have your anniversary of certain events in the calendar. Because people love when you remember the things that the both of you shared. Only other thing I would suggest about the calendar is that you hide it. Because you still want to leave an element of surprise. I for one love to hear that somebody bought some tickets to a concert that I want to go to. It makes me think, damn, okay, I see you. The other thing that needs to be done for y'all to fix y'all relationship is to spill every secret that y'all have between each other. And I know you're thinking right now, damn, Ray, I can't do that. And I completely understand that you don't want to lose this beautiful face. But the truth is, is that all secrets come to the light and you don't want to get caught off guard. Also, you're probably not the only one that was doing dirt. So you should sit down and agree to tell each other everything. And as you do, it will feel like a weight is lifted off both your backs. And there will be no surprises. Also, if you confirm some of their suspicions, they won't feel the need to dig through your phone. And that starts to build a bridge of trust, which means you now have a solid foundation. And you know what we do when it's solid. We build a damn house. Another thing you need to do to patch up the relationship is to create a dedicated I love you day. And this is something you could do without their knowledge. Maybe once every month you deliver some food to their job. And if it's one thing that makes people happy, it's food. Or maybe you could tell them to grab a bathing suit and cruise on over to a beach or a pool for some drinks. It will show that you are always one step ahead. And that is something that everyone can appreciate. And your significant other will know that you're trying your very best. Next thing you'll have to do is stop being controlling because some of y'all are coming off as crazy. Y'all want to know where this person is at all times and no relationship could last if that's the case. So you're going to have to start letting go a little. You can start by not blowing up their phone every hour or not driving by their house at 3 a.m. You have to allow this lovely person to spread their wings and only in doing that can they truly be themselves. So let them take some freedom. Now another thing that might have to be done is the two of you moving to a new spot because sometimes your old place has too many bad memories and it just has a negative vibe all over the place. And we all know if your house isn't peaceful, your life isn't peaceful. Plus moving away will stop other people from coming over that might wanna start problems. For example, if you had an ex that wanted to get back with you, all they would have to do is drive by your place and check if your car is in the parking lot. And if the both of y'all spoke to each other, you might fall back into your bad habits. Because let's be honest, some people be looking too damn good. Also, a nice way to fix your relationship is to work out together. Because as both of you get into shape, so will your confidence. You won't feel like one person is better than the other. And the two of you would find another thing to do as a couple. Also, all your friends would crown y'all as the hot couple. Which I guess can be a good thing or a bad thing. Because they might want to holler. Another tip to fix your relationship that you might want to implement is to write down both of your professional goals. And to go out and actively support each other. This is the ultimate sign of respect because it shows that you want me to be just as successful as you. And that is the fastest way to build a mutual bond because plenty of people in a relationship think that the other person is not supporting them. So change that narrative by creating action plans. And here's a super tip for y'all. Never give people a look into y'all relationship because people love drama and rarely are they rooting for you to win. Now, if you're new to the house, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss a video. And when you're done doing that, click on one of my videos that just popped up. And I will see you on the next one.